Long-time viewers of this channel will know that I have before looked at the question, is Nibiru an actual planet? Well, that's not even the strangest question you'll hear today, as I ask the question, is there a twin solar system? Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tim Ford Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a huge thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Aura. Are you tired of constantly receiving spam phone calls to the point where you don't even answer your phone anymore? I mean, look at that missed call list. Now, Dayton brokers are making a fortune selling your information, like robocallers or spammers and others who want to know more information about you, even where you live. Now Aura can identify these data brokers that are exposing your info, and they can submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Now brokers are legally required to remove your info if you actually ask them, but obviously they make that super hard to do, so let Aura handle it for you. Now Aura actually does so much more to protect you and your family from other online threats that you can't see. Now it's really easy to set up, you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, stuff like that. You get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so that you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. You can either let people continue to exploit and profit of your private information, or you can go to aura.com slash simandan to get your two week free trial. Alternative, you can click the link in the description. Right, back to today's video, which sees a lady called Nibiru Followers Anonymous talk to us about a twin solar system. Keep your hands and arms inside the carpet and hold on to your tin foil hats because we are out of here. Wow, serious light paint, y'all. Wow. I step out to record some audio for a video and looked up through the camera, you see this, you can't see this just by looking at it, but... Well, that would give you a bit of a clue then, wouldn't it? That it's an effect caused by your camera. And in this instance, we have a lens flare, usually occurring when a strong source of light, such as the sun, is scattered across the glass of your lens. Now, this is a well-documented and extremely well-understood phenomenon. This is happening because there are planets uh, around the sun, they tend to group around the sun and they're so close, you know, in between Earth and our sun and they're pinching our sunlight. They pinch it, distort it. This is why the sun looks so different, that and how we have a, another sun that's behind our sun. Okay, that was a hell of a lot of information in an incredibly short amount of time. So according to you, there are not only other planets that we can't see, in the way of us and the sun pinching its light, there's also a second sun. Right. That definitely affects what we're seeing as well. You know, that white area that we see, uh, that is the sunlight from our sun. And then that yellow ring of illumination that we see around it is the illumination coming from the second sun which is directly behind our sun. Okay, well obviously that's bunkum. Interestingly, those photos you're showing are from sunsets and sunrises. That outer glow that you mentioned there is just the sun's light being scattered more than it usually would be. And that's because it's passing through more atmosphere relative to the viewer at sunset or sunrise. Not because there's a second sun behind the first sun. But that's what's going on. Our, our second sun is not even fully visible. It's hidden behind our sun. So all of these videos that we're seeing of illuminated orbs and everyone is saying it's another sun, it's not. Those illuminated orbs, depending on their location, if it's to the right of our sun, it's I Saturn's yellow moon from a distance. Okay, these are optical refraction effects, or mirages. Quite rare, but entirely possible. And what does she call it? Ice Saturn's yellow moon. I don't want to burst your bubble too much, but this seems to be quite far away from Saturn. And then we see one or multiple 
illuminated orbs to the left of our sun, and that is an illuminated asteroid. Right. So if it's to the right, it's a moon of Saturn, and if it's to the left, it's an asteroid. Gotcha. Makes perfect sense. Most of the asteroids in this other solar system are located to the left of our sun. That's where the major fields of asteroids are located. Now this is just because she says so, by the way. There's no evidence for this whatsoever. You know, just remember, these planets are passing between Earth and our sun. So what we see are their dark sides. And the further away they are, the more clear our sky will look. But they're never gone. They're always there. Well, there are two planets that usually do pass between us and the sun. And this is what they look like when they do. You need a special filter on your telescope or camera to see this. You can't just look at it. And then the closer they get to Earth, the more cloudy our sky will appear, especially the strange... Sorry, sorry, has she just labelled a cloud as a planet? Clouds, the ripples, the streaks. What those are, are the atmospheres of these other planets. If only we knew that. All this time we've been calling them regular clouds. They pass so close that their atmosphere will literally fill our entire sky. And typically it's a different planet in each direction. But that is why, you know, certain days we see more clouds or more streaks. You know, most of the streaks we see are caused by the planets and asteroids that are dragging across Earth's atmosphere. I see that I got something wrong earlier. It wasn't I-Saturn, it was i Saturn, a totally fictitious planet. My apologies. But unfortunately, people have been conditioned to, you know, think they see streaks and they assume that they're man-made. They don't know about this other solar system to even think that it could be something other. You know, they see two or three planes and they attribute, you know, millions of streaks to those handful of planes and and then they think that that's happening all around the world not really millions of streaks is it you know that we couldn't possibly have the resources to spray all the streaks that we're seeing happen every day worldwide you know most of the streaks are because of these other planets and asteroids and then most of the clouds we see every day are clouds from the atmospheres of these other planets that's what's going on, y'all. Just think of the gravitational mess if that really was the case. Some people have fantastic imaginations, don't they? I, I talk to Sam Hoffman about once a week, and he honestly can't believe that more people have not discovered his information. Well, that's because it's nonsense. If you're listening, please share this information, you guys, because that's the only way his information will become more mainstream, which that's where it should be. This is the biggest story of our lives. This happens every, about every 3,600 years. You know, two of these other planets are inhabited. Okay, that's it, I'm done. I can't take any more of this. Okay, okay, a little more. I know you want to keep going, guys. This has gone on longer than we can fathom. So, that's what's happening. Oh, hey. Sorry, my neighbor walked up and I paused the video to talk to him. But as you can see, a few minutes has gone by and the pinch is no longer there. So, you know, what that means is the planets have moved and shifted. They're no longer pinching our sunlight. You know, what other reason would cause it to pinch momentarily and then go away? You know, well, that's what's happening. I think what we need to do here is all sit down and have a look at your twin solar system model. So we can all get the information we need and then we can properly comment on it, can't we? And that's exactly what we're gonna do next week on Tin Fall Tuesday. But for now, we're all done and dusted for this one. Thanks so much for watching, it truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed this one, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that thumbs up button too. We're so close to the half a million now. 
uh, about five and a half thousand away, I think, at last looking. Just enough time to once again thank Aura for sponsoring today's video. Remember, visit aura.com slash Simon Dan to get your free two week trial uh, or click the link in the description. I've been Simon Dan, have yourselves a cracking week, and I'll see you on Friday for the final part of the level three documentary debunk. It's going to be a good one. See you then. <laughs>